Hello YouTube, it's Viva La Gomez here. And many of you may be wondering, what is Smart Glass? Well, and if you watch this video, I'm gonna to explain to you everything that it does and the features that it has, along with what it is. So, Smart Glass, in a nutshell, is an app that you can have for your uh, Windows phone, um, your iPad, your iPhone, your Surface, several other devices. Um, it is a, an app that makes um, the experience on Xbox One a little bit more smooth and easier and adds an extra feature to it. Think of it like um, a remote instead of a controller, something that you can just have on your phone, turn it on, um, you know. So let's get started. Um, this, I'm showing my phone. I can, I'm also gonna do it on my iPad, but let's start off with my phone right here. So the Xbox One Smart Glass is in the upper right corner. It looks like that. Um, so let's see if I can connect to it. The first thing you wanna do when you open up the app is connect to the Xbox. So there is my Xbox, it recognizes it. And as you can see on the screen right there, it recognizes me. I already had my account set up, so it'll automatically sign me in. Um, so this smart glass right here on this phone, it has several features that you can do, and um, it offers a controller of sorts. Um, think of it like a TV remote, like I said. Um, so there is a remote right here in the bottom corner, and it functions like a controller. Um, so if I want to navigate through the menus um, right there, you can just swipe it left and right, up and down, all sorts. Um, and if you tap on the center, you can select something. So if I tap on the center right there, it'll go to my profile. Um, so there's also another feature that you can have right here, and that is the volume. Now, the volume is right next to the remote, so if you go right there, I do have a sound box, um, so you won't be able to see it on the TV screen. Um, so I can just go like that and mute it. Let's see if you can hear the difference. If I flip through the menus, no sound at all. Uh, so let's see if I can unmute. There we go. So you can control the volume and you can navigate through the menus with this. Um, you can also control several in-app things. So let's start off with something that we all know, Netflix. So there's several options on the app when you click, or ah, sorry, I clicked on Forza. There we go, Netflix. So there's several options right there. You can play on, let's see, you can play on Xbox One, play in a snap, details and unpinned. So let's play an Xbox One and see what it does. So there you can see it brings us straight to the app. No delay at all, immediate. Um, I use the voice controls a ton. I use them a lot. Um, but if I don't feel in the mood like using them, I always use this as a second option. Or the controller, obviously. Um, due to copyright issues, I'm not gonna show you any uh, audio or video. Um, but as you can see, oop, it looks like I didn't unmute it. There you go. Um, oops. As you can see, I can just navigate through the menus, and if I click on Scrubs, which is a great show, I love Scrubs, um, you can do everything that you would like a regular controller. So it works seamlessly, it works really well. Um, you could do anything you want. There is several things that you can do, so you might want to set up your pins on your actual Xbox dashboard, uh, because you won't be able to select everything that you want um, from the actual phone. So you can, these are my pins that I've set up. I should probably add some more, um, but you can go through any of those. I won't show you TV either. Um, you can also do several other things away from your Xbox. So say if you're at work or at school or just, you know, want to see something. So if you want to see what friends are online, you can click on that right there, go to your friends. Uh, and if you want to go to see your achievements, you can click on this and see your most recent achievements and all the games that you played. Um, and your messages and everything else that you'd really want to have on your phone and your Xbox. I'd say it works really well and it's a really good improvement. I'm glad that Microsoft implemented this. Um, let me show you the iPad. Let me just get this out. So the iPad is pretty much exactly the same. Um, right there, so you can see the iPad. It's in the opposite corner. So there's the smart glass for the iPad. Again, it works pretty much exactly the same, like I said. The only advantage is that it's larger screen. Um, there are several games that have in-app integration, so let's see. Um, so let's, I think I know that Battlefield does. Um, yeah, so see, if you look on the screen right there, it says Companion Available. Now there are several games that you can, let's see, I'm checking through the games. Um, I believe Forza does. No, I guess it doesn't. Um, it's not a really well implemented feature as of yet. Um, they, I, they probably will add it to more games, but for Battlefield, it is a pretty cool feature. Um, for Battlefield, let's, let me show you. For Battlefield, uh, let's go home. If 
for battle, or I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong place. Um, you, I have the battle log app right there, so you can see all your stats and all of your progress, and also I have the commander, which um, you can play that on Xbox One if you want, or your PC, um, but it is pretty cool on the iPad because you can, you know, navigate the map with your fingers and touch controls, so it does work pretty well. Um, and you can also find servers on Xbox One, so you choose your console and you um, decide what server you want to play on. In fact, I've even done it simultaneously with one of my friends, and we're coordinating with each other, um, and it worked out pretty well. It was pretty uh, fun. Um, so that is Smart Glass in a nutshell. There are more features to it, um, as you would, you know, on like an uh, Xbox One controller and all the features that it has. Um, stay tuned in maybe in, uh, I don't know, maybe a week or two, maybe even three weeks. So I'm going to be starting school soon. I will do a really long video on my first two month impression of Xbox One. So, uh, Stay tuned for that. It's going to be a really long video on all my impressions and my reviews for all of the um, seven games that I've gotten. I did trade back one. Um, I'm going to be talking about the controller, the console, the network, the dashboard, um, the features that it needs, the features that it uh, has, um, the games, you know, online, everything about that, everything I'm going to be discussing. It's going to be a very long, several part video. So stay tuned for that. Um, thank you for watching. Really appreciate your support. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching. Cheers.